Okay guys, we're going to do a quick little video showing how to remove the tension dial assembly from the NC portable binder and in turn replacing the check spring inside the tension disc, inside the tension assembly. Cover comes off. And now it's going to reveal the spring. After everything's out, you'll see the spring. Then there's a screw here. Loosen it. That should allow the spring to come out. There it is on the post. Put it back on. Or the new one on, I should say. Show them the proper way to put it on. Okay. Yeah, everything goes back in in the same order you took it out. Make it tension a little bit. Make a little bit of tension on the spring. Not too tight. Now. Tighten it. Now show them how it should spring back and forth. So it's a little bit of tension. Okay. A little tension. Okay. Perfect. Now, back this. Don't forget to keep the order of everything so you don't have to figure it out. And that's it guys. And the cover of course. This is tight to the side because this is this is a stopper here on the other side. Okay, let me take it off again. You see the stopper here? Uh -huh. This is stopper, okay, so make sure the stopper put in the wrong, the wrong side, on the other side. So this, you see? So put the cross. So right there. So we have tight or loose, okay? Right, you want to make sure it grabs the cover, essentially. Yeah. First, we're not tight. First, tight, whatever machine. Uh, make tighten it. Uh, make it tension. After you can, after that, you. Tighten. After you tighten the inside piece. Yeah. After you tighten this, it should fit on pretty easily. Yes, I so. And you should feel snug. This way you could feel it turning left or turning right. And that's it, kids. 